What's up? So I went to the flea market over the weekend. Uh, I went last weekend too, but I kind of shit the bed and bought some random stuff uh, that wasn't good for resale. I'll show them to you real quick. I'll show it real quick. You'll never guess. You'll never guess what I got, but it's in this bag. Okay. So I saw these, I was looking at these for my son online on the internet. And then I go to the flea market and what do I see? You will never guess. I will pause for two seconds. These fugglers. So I was looking at the Ninja Turtle fugglers for my son. And I go to the flea market and there's a guy and he's got he's got them there. So I was like, oh man, and they were only five bucks each. So I was like, let me get the Ninja Turtle one. And then I saw he had another Ninja Turtle one, the same one. I was like, you know what? I'll just get that one too. Uh, maybe I can sell it, right? And then I saw he had another one. And he had this one. So I was like, you know what? I'll just buy that one too. And then I saw that he had another one. And I said, why don't I buy that one as well? And then I saw that he had another one. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to buy all of them. So I bought all these Fugglers. And then I went home, gave my son the Ninja Turtle one, and he cried. So now I have a grocery bag full of Fugglers that are unwanted. So there's that. That's my, my, that's my first week at the flea market story, but this week I did a lot better, I think. So I'm going to show you all the stuff I picked up. Uh, I don't know how much I, I, I'm probably not going to be able to remember how much I spent on everything. This is pretty inconspicuous, right? Just a plain crew neck. However, it is the Marlboro crew neck and it's not just any Marlboro crew neck. It is the one with the gecko on it, the lizard embroidered on the sleeve, okay? Nothing else. So Marlboro stuff, you want to stick to the basics like this. T-shirts, uh, sweatshirts, hoodies. I wouldn't go crazy with anything else. Uh, I paid five bucks for this. And we got this. This already sold. This is just a super faded, smoked out hoodie. It's kind of hard to tell because I have bad lighting in here. Let me see if I can show like the contrast of it. So you can see the inside of the hood and there's like how faded it is. And this is nothing special. This is just a gild and blank. It's not even that old. I got this from a mean lady. She didn't want to sell it to me. I paid $4 for that. And we got a pair of Levi's silver tabs. These are like dyed green. This is from the silver tab elements. That doesn't really matter. We're mostly looking at the silver tab part. Uh, they're pretty clean. They're nice. Um, paid $3 for those. You know, I said I wasn't going to remember the prices, but now I feel like I am. Uh, then I bought this uh, Nike hoodie. It's a double XL. Not too old. It's got the tag. I think I paid $4 for this. Probably shouldn't have bought that. I feel like I should have just left that there. The only reason I picked it up was because it was... Uh, like it's got like nice wear, it's a little bit faded. It has the embroidered swoosh and it's a double XL. That's really the only things I was looking at. And I was like, if I was in Goodwill and I saw this for like five bucks, would I pick it up? And I was like, mm, I don't know. Then I got this, this also sold already. Um, this is a bless the fall shirt, which is like a scene wiener band metal band. And it's got Mario on it running over. Princess Peach with Bowser in the background. This kind of stuff, this is all keyword right here when you want to sell something like this. So like this is a medium, but it's like super tiny. Uh, girls will buy that stuff. So you want like scene, emo, Y2K, goth, stuff like that, okay? This is like just stacked keywords to get this sold. And this sold like within 24 hours. Then we got this, and this is the same idea. Um, not not like 100%. Like, I picked that up. I knew that would sell right away. Just the graphic, everything lined up perfectly. Anytime you find, like, some of these, like, uh, mid-2000s like 2000s emo, emo, screamo bands, uh, and it has, like, the slimy, bloody graphics, like, that's the kind of shit you want to pick up. Um, this is a Ryan Sheckler Skater Boy tee from the mid 2000s with all that skater boy hype like robin big uh bam viva la bam uh all that kind of stuff 
uh, again, nothing special, um, but this is just kind of fits that that trendy style of like the Y2K, Y2K mall, mall goth kind of style. I almost said Y2K. Y2K. That's what I was going to say. What the hell is wrong with me? And then I had this one. This is my favorite find from the weekend. Uh, this is WWE T. Sick. Jeff Hardy. This is a great find. This was only five bucks. Um, somebody sent me an offer on it for 45 already, and I probably should have taken it, but I wanted to get like 60 out of this. I know someone will pay me like 50 or 60 bucks, but it was like that first initial offer for 45, and I was like, I should have just taken this. But I was I was greedy. I was too greedy. I think I was I was still riding too high from finding this, right? And it was mostly because the woman that I bought it from is always set up there and she's kind of pricey. And I and I grabbed this shirt and it didn't have a price on it. And I was like, you know, I'm going to go up here and she's going to want like $20 for it. Um, which even at 20, I would have bought it because it would have been worth it. But uh, it was only five and I was like, oh, shh, put that in my bag. Uh, but yeah, this is sick. XL, great size, great T. Anything on this tag like anything on the wwe tag that has like a good graphic and i know that's kind of vague but anything on this tag good graphic i want it like i i had a whole tote of these wwe shirts because nobody cares about them online so i was buying them cheap and then reselling them uh just sniping them off ebay and reselling them um like undertaker stone cold stuff like that everyone wants like the the 90s WCW, WWF stuff. Um, but uh, the 2000 stuff is very like over overlooked. Kind of like a, a neglected category uh, for the, the wrestling. And there's some really sick graphics in there. And I've sold some of those tees for like 80, 90, 100. I, like they're still worth money. The graphic just has to be right. You know, uh, D-Generation X, Hardy Boys, those that kind of stuff. Um good graphics hard to hard to explain there's a lot of them though like lots of wrestling tees from that period so you have to kind of know your stuff uh this is a polo ralph tee um the only reason i picked this up is because it is the flesh pony you know i'm cool i know my my i'm trying to learn all my different ralph stuff all the levels to the ralph uh so yeah i think this was like two or three bucks and we got this double XL uh, polo performance track jacket. I uh, mostly grabbed this because it, it is in like perfect condition and it's a double XL. Um, and the lady who I bought this stuff from, I've bought pr probably only Ralph Lauren stuff from her uh, since she's been setting up. She started setting up last year and I've she always has really nice clothes, always has good polo always buying from her um and she has great prices that was four dollars and then i got this this is a polo ralph uh hoodie same thing xxl this is like the heavyweight hoodie really nice again four bucks that is a great price these you go to goodwill or something these are ten dollars like i don't even think you can get them less for that like if i went to my goodwill these would easily be ten bucks um was that everything i had this this is so this was the one bad thing that i bought uh it's not like totally bad but like this is an orvis trout bum tea um and it's it's nothing special but like the there was a lot more flaws to it like i don't know if you can tell but like it's got like kind of pit stained there's a stain on the front and I was looking at this, the guy had like a bunch of hunting gear and everything like that. And I was like, you know, how much could this guy really want for just a basic tea? And he said five bucks. And I was just kind of like, ah, all right, whatever, I'll buy it five bucks. Uh, but yeah, definitely should have just left this behind. Like this is something like a dollar, you know, two dollars, maybe I should have left that behind. That was poor judgment. That was, I had a lapse in judgment there. Um, I think that that's everything. Um, but I, I still got a couple more things I'll show. I got a couple minutes here. Uh, I went to Goodwill on, it was maybe Thursday or Friday. I got an Affliction Polo. This one's not really that crazy by Affliction standards, but 
It's my first time picking up a polo from them. I got a, an Affliction hoodie today, too. I don't have that near me, though. And then I got a, um, a Tyndale FR Henley. Um, yeah, the FR stuff is good. You just got to watch how much you pay, um, depending on what it is. But, like, just your basics, Henleys, button-up shirts, that kind of stuff. I have another FR thing here. This is, uh... I probably showed this on another video. This is a bulwark uh, FR button up. It's like a heavy, heavy like canvas shirt. Um, and I think that's it. I'm just looking here. I got these. These are sick. Vertex, new with tag jeans. Vertex is a pretty good brand. I have some uh, Vertex like tactical pants. They make tactical gear, uh, like carrying like bags like open i mean conceal carry kind of stuff um you know that's i think that's good enough i think we looked at enough stuff so uh i'll talk to you later see ya